Howdy folks, happy summer. As you can see, I'm in my shorts already. So we're getting ready for this nice warm weather. Anyway, today we're gonna to do another one in our series on the cost of living in Vancouver. And um, today we're gonna to talk insurance. The reason we're talking insurance is because we got our refund check today from uh, the insurance company because I got my driver's license. Um, so insurance. Basically, when we arrived here, we bought ourselves a car shortly after quarantine, which was just early February. We bought ourselves a car down at the Ford dealership, an old uh, 2013 Ford Edge, which we paid $15,000 for. You know, so it's not not the most expensive car in the world, not the not the newest or the best or the greatest. It's an old vehicle at a decent price, but we had to take out insurance because you can't drive off the lot without insurance. So we saw the insurance person there and they said that they gave us a quote which came to $3,174 for the year. And that was when we were still living in Gabriola Island. So we had to pay up front $3,174 for the year's insurance. It was a little higher because we don't have British Columbia driver's licenses and we were driving around with our South African licenses. They did tell us that as soon as we do get our licenses, we got to let them know and we will get a refund. Anyway, when we moved to this area, West Vancouver, which is, you know, kind of a decent area, we found the insurance company and our insurance went up from 3174 which basically works out to $264.50 a month it went up to $4,937 for the year for a total of $411.41 per month for a $15,000 car. That's a little bit excessive if you ask me. But there's got like a, what have we got here? Uh, $2 million third party liability combined driver factor. There's a whole bunch of things in here, comprehensive policy. But it's actually still damn well expensive, $411 a month. Anyway, so we just recently let them know that I got my license, just after obviously I got my license. And today we got a $1,527 check in the mail. So that takes us back to about $280. Obviously, it's a little bit more of a difficult calculation because there's pro rate money that's gone off already and stuff like that. But yeah with this uh refund i think we are now back at about 280 dollars a month insurance on a fifteen thousand dollar car they did say when belinda gets her license we'll probably get another four hundred dollar um refund so it looks like that's roughly where we're going to be 280 270 260 per month for our car that's quite steep anyway that's insurance prices for you. I don't know, maybe there's, uh, I need to do some research. Maybe there's, well, this is the Insurance Corporation of British Columbia. I don't actually know if there's other insurance companies or because this ICBC almost looks exactly like the government logo. Hmm. Maybe you need to do some more research. But anyway, that's insurance prices. Um, it's a fairly significant cost that you've got to deal with when you arrive here. Cheers.